In today's video, I want to share with you a simple gold scalping strategy that you can apply today and start making money consistently in the forex market. This strategy is all around the opening price trading strategy. What are you looking for? You are going to look at the previous London session. It could be three days ago. It could be just yesterday. It could be three weeks ago, depending on the freshness of that London session. When I say freshness, it means that London session, I and low that I'm about to show you have not been tampered with. If you don't understand it, just bear with me. So what you're going to do, you are going to go to the previous London session. You are going to mark the reversal opening price. We have two types of opening price, the reversal opening price and the continuation opening price. Reversal opening price are simply opening price that created the bearish move. In this case, we have a bullish move. The opening price that created that bearish move. That opening price there is the reversal opening price. In this case, the opening price that created the bullish move after a series of bearish candle, that opening price is the bullish reversal opening price. And this is the key level we want to be using for this strategy. All right? So, the continuation opening price, we are not interested in it in this, for this particular strategy. This strategy applies the opening price trading strategy, which I've talked about so many times in my video. If you have not seen it, check up here. You are going to see it and then watch it. Once you're done, you can come back to this video. Now, this strategy applies on gold. I'm going to show you the risk to reward ratio you should be aiming at where your stop loss will be and the criteria for entry. I'm going to show you when you are going to enter, what and what you are going to look at for, where your stop loss will be, and then your target. So before we explain, we are simply going to use the previous opening price. This could be price opening price of London session in the previous day. It will be previous day, previous weeks, five days ago, three days ago, what you should be looking at is a fresh London session reversal opening price. That means that within another London session, that area has not been tampered with. All right. We want a fresh levels for London session. When we continue, when I show you the illustration, you will understand better. So what are we looking at here? You are going to mark out this level in anticipation of the new London session starting okay and the two time frame you are going to use here is very important please pay attention the two time frame you are going to use is the h1 for the higher time frame that is where you'll be marking out your key levels and your entry level will be in the five minutes time frame okay the higher level higher time frame is the one hour that is where we're marking out your reversal opening price in the London session and your five minutes is the entry criteria. So this is what you are looking for in the five minutes. Once you come to your one minute, one hour and you mark out this level, this level, for example, and price is currently here prior to the new London session starting. So what you need to do is simple. You wait for price to trade either to this level or trade to this level. Now, when price gets to this level, you are simply waiting for two things. And those things is what? Break and what? Retest. You want to see a break above this level and a retest. That is if you want to go higher. Now, at this point, price will either break. We have to go higher. We, either, we have to break and retest to go lower. We need just a rejection. That means, for example, if I want to buy, yeah, this is the criteria for the buy. I wait for price to close above this in the five minutes. This is what you are looking at in your five minutes. You are simply trading off the five minutes. Once price break out in the five minutes, this is an indication that in that London session, we want to go higher. All right. So what are you going to do now? You simply wait for what? A retest. 
let market comes retest and create a rejection bar once this rejection bar is created that is where you enter the trade at the closing price here yeah? stop loss below that candle that broke it okay and then you are targeting two hour you are targeting what two hour one two once you get that two hour you are done for the day okay now for the sell from this upper boundary if you are looking to sell this is what you'll be looking for you wait for price to trade in here and then create a pin bar once a pin bar is created then you enter where at the closing price stop loss above and you are simply aiming what two hour trades that is all two hour trade that is for the upper boundary for the lower boundary for a sell you want to see market break this line and then a retest market needs to retest this area once it retests that area you simply enter at the close of that candle stop loss above that candle that break okay this is the what the decisive candle decisive candle because this is the candle that makes you to make that decision now what are you going to target you are going to target two hour trades all right once you get your two hour trades you are done for the day now some will say two hour is it not too small by the time you accumulate it every day if you see when you see your trading setup accumulate every day two hour trades in a week that is 10 hour trade which is beautiful all right that is if you are risking one percent you make ten percent in a week all right now because this is scalping i might recommend you to use a lower uh, percent in terms of using 0 0.5 of your account instead of one percent it all depends on what suits you best all right so now for a bullish play here you want to see market come in reject and close above it once that happened you open your your trades here stop loss below and then you measure two r and that is all so this is simple this is what i do every day now the reason why i don't give out this as a signal is because it's scalping when price when it occurs by the time i share it out i'm already out of the trade so it doesn't make sense for me to be giving out signals based on this so you need to work it out but what i'll be doing implementing next in my vip group is we will come in here very early and try to trade this strategy using the scalping method so if you want to be part of that vip group kindly use the link in the description use the link in the description and take advantage of the 50 percent discount for the first month okay so now we are going to go to the chart and look at the recent gold price action and we are going to take trades based on that now you can see that this is friday yeah this was thursday friday so in this case I'll simply mark out the reversal opening price of that of the previous month. You can see the previous day, sorry. The previous day is is fresh. Price hasn't touched it. Okay? Likewise this. I I'm not going to count this here. I won't count this because that closing candle is simply at the end of that bar. So in this case in this case we have only this level here yeah? and then this level this level can surface all right so what you need to do now is to go to your five minutes time frame and wait for the london session to open so we are going to play this and wait for the London session to open. Now, this is the London session opening. Yeah. Let's print it out again. 
yeah now the london session is open on the five minutes yeah based on my setting this is open so we have the lines here one year and i think one is above all right so let's continue all you need to do is you are going to wait the price gets to those levels you are not going to engage the market whatsoever now in this case price is approaching this level now here yeah, you can see that price closed above this we needed that retest but that retest did not happen price came below now because price came below we wanted that retest here it didn't happen we didn't touch on that line then eventually we have this big candle coming up here so what we need to wait for is simply a retest all of this can simply be a fake out and then price still trade back below and then in that case you are out of that trade so you need a retest and price rejecting of this all right something like this price straight back in and then reject giving us a close above this line after touching this line so that's what you are looking for so in that case we simply watch price now price came in and then you can see the close above now once this happens you simply enter your trade here buy trade at the close of that candle let me be sure that there is a touch on that yes there's a touch so you have to be careful if it doesn't touch it don't take the trade so yeah you are going to let me take off this stop loss below that candle yeah all right and then you target just two hour trade now before i continue this is not an holy grail okay sometimes you take losses and then if that happens just take it the way it is so in that case you are in so let's see what happens here now in this case price did what price came and took you out there's no problem price came and took you out you simply wait and see for another re uh, rejection in this case we have a close below we wait for price now we have this close back above so we need a rejection again we need another rejection all right in this case you've gotten a loss because if you put your stop loss below here either this or this will take you out it is okay now this move that took you out you have to take note of that low because in case we have a rejection we are putting our stop loss below this all right now you can see the first trade you are taking is a loss you don't need to worry let the system do you no know, play on let this follow the system that is what i need to tell you if i trade that and you want to be successful follow your trading plan okay sometimes the first trade you take in a day could be a loss and sometimes it will be a win and sometimes you might have a winning streak throughout without any losses so we need to see a rejection now we have that rejection we take the entry again at the close of that can do and then stop loss below this now why are we putting stop loss below this this is where we were manipulated out of this trade that means some top banks let me use the word smart money wants to manipulate the lows yeah now that lows have been manipulated early buyers like us that we took early buyer uh, we are early buyers here yeah? we are taking out now this time around we want to move alongside smart money and then we target to our trade now because of that loss what i do is sometimes i target three hour at once so that i make up for that loss because you settling for just two hours simply means you are you are risking you are making just one hour which in the long run might not be that good so in that case we move high and then tp it now as we eat the tp you are done for the day all right so what you need to do is if there's any other strategy you want to apply to continue making the market there's no problem 
but in this case our three hours is in we took one loss and then we make one win and that win was three hour minus one hour that is two hour for the day so this particular day is done all right so now we move to the next day okay whatever happens you don't need to feel bad or whatever if price continue going higher just like it did there there's no point you are out of the market that's what the strategy is okay now the london session has closed we have a new london session that we'll be looking at here let me use this magnet tool to mark out that level all right okay and this is the low here yeah. i'll take off this just to have a clean line that level has been taken and this level two has been taken remember okay this is my line sorry <laughs> all right we have a new day coming in on this is sunday friday is over so we're expecting monday to start trading so this is monday oh sorry this i was looking for the asian box but it came to form below so we have we have to go to the five minutes now and then analyze the entry if it has already happened okay sorry about that now that is the line we are looking at here but as you can see we have a close below this line so we needed a rejection of it but price closed back in we didn't have a rejection then price what move sharply and broke that level in that case we wait for price rejection and as a result of this rejection this is where you enter from very sorry for that i needed to i was carried away i thought the asian market hasn't come in so in this case you are going to sell here yeah, at the close of that candle and stop loss will be <laughs> stop loss will be just above this decisive candle right and then you target for what two hour in this case our two hour is met sorry we didn't see that flow all right so once you get your two hour trade in this case you are done for the day you are just spending just few minutes on the chat and you are off if you are a part-time worker or you are a full-time worker but you want to take trading part-time this is something you can use as well just create that first two three hours in the london session for your trading and everything will be very okay all right so in that case we have just a win a trade and we got a winner so we move on for tuesday so regardless what happened here is none of your business you wait till the market close now the market has closed and then we created a new low here new london session here all right and we have the eye yeah So we are going to wait for the new London session to happen. This is the New York session. Now Asian market has come in. This, what, this was what I was looking for, this gray box. Okay, we didn't get that because it, it showed at the bottom. Okay, now the London session is in. We have our lines here, we have our lines below. So you need to wait for price to approach those lines. All right now we have a break above that line this is the decisive can do right that means if you have a retest here this is where our stop loss will be so let's continue we close below so this does not meet our criteria we want to see a rejection and a close above so in this case that it closes below do we have rejection and close below no we are still moving up above so we move
now we have that rejection here we touched and rejected so we are entering bullish stop loss below that decisive can do and then we aim for two hour trades okay two hour all right so then done the two hour is done and you are out you took the trade at um, at 9.05 you are done at 10.20 it, so, it took some time but in this case you are out so this is a beautiful strategy you can apply day in day out you can use this to pass any prop firm challenge whatever it is and I'm giving you this I'm giving this out free just because you are loyal to this channel if you like what I'm doing here simply like this video subscribe turn on your notifications so that when I create new videos just like this you will be the first to know and also share this video to as many people as you can and also in my description you will see links explore my world from there you join my telegram free telegram because sometimes I do giveaways on telegram so in order for you to be part of that promo during the telegram channel in the telegram channel you have to be part of it so we continue doing this and then you have to back test remember when I show you something is for you to back back test this is not an holy grail I do not guarantee any any future profit remember we are in a financial market that is very risky but all you need to do take this back test it and then let me know your results